Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. My name is Evelyn Long Time No See. In today's video, we are going to count down top 10 most horror games out there. So without any hesitation, let's dive to the video. And actually, as you may know, 99% of you didn't subscribe to my channel. So before it's too late, subscribe. <laughs> Number 10, Alan Wake 2. If you're a fan of horror, then Alan Wake 2 is a must buy. There are some outstanding options for the genre, but none of them manage to pull off every aspect of horror as well as the survival horror game. There are beautiful graphics and imagery as the title expertly combines the two worlds of the protagonists, Alan Wake and Sega Anderson, as well as reality and video games in expertly shot cutscenes. There's also an interrogating narrative that lends itself to engaging in-game detective work and fight. Well, music fans will be happy to know that the soundtrack in this horror game has had some serious effort put into it thanks to a great Scandinavian rock band. The beginning few hours may be too terrifying even for veteran players. However, like in any good survival game, the more you play, the more confidence you get from recognizing fight patterns and gathering resources that will help you push forward. Keep going and you will be rewarded tremendously. Number 9 Little Nightmares In Little Nightmares, you control a young girl, called Six, who has to navigate a frightening world far too big for her, populated by a wide array of giant and grotesque creatures. Six is just a small girl, so you sneak past them instead of fighting these creatures. The tension in these best hard games contender comes from navigating complicated platforming sections while also being pursued by monsters. Little Nightmares is a deserved entry on our best horror game list because it creates a feeling of helplessness while making it clear that you still have a ways to escape. It takes a familiar domestic areas that should be comforting and turns them on their head by making them repulsive and unsafe for six to travel through. In any other medium, using children this way would be uncomfortable and a shrunken protagonist would more likely make us think of 90s comedy films that attends horror. So Little Nightmares make use of it being a game in all the right ways. Number 8. The Evil Within 2 Devil Within series comes from Shinji Mikami, the mind behind Resident Evil. And if that doesn't give you enough reason to pick it up, its nightmarish work likely will. This third person survival horror will pull you into a world populated by rustic you and frightening enemies. Mixed with dashes of psychological horror protagonist Sebastian Catalanas never quite knows what's real and what's the horror hooked up by his own mind. Number 7. Dead by Daylight Dead by Daylight stands out in this list of best horror games for being generally a scary multiplayer title, showing that you don't have to be alone in the dark to be scared. In Dead by Daylight, a single player takes on the role of savage serial killer, while four others flee for their life, desperately trying to fix generators to secure their freedom. Not only is Dead by Daylight one of our favorite horror games, but it's also one of the best crossplay games right now. Number 6. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Resident Evil 7 was a breath of a fresh air for an increasingly stale series. While it's not the only Resident Evil title on our best horror game list, it brought a much needed modern understanding of horror movies and games to the series while retaining that distinct Resident Evil feel. Moving the perspective from third person to first person made the fear feel closer or more immediate while leading to the way include the genuinely frightening VR experience in the game. Number 5. Until Dawn This best horror game entry changed what was possible for the genre of horror. Instead of going the classic survival horror route, Until Dawn pioneered a new interactive horror trope. This provided players with a chance to experience a story like something you'd see in a horror movie and decide the outcomes of all characters through decision making and quick time events. Stuck on a snowy mountain with no way out, you play as a group of friends trying to survive the wintry blizzard and a killer who's on the loose and seemingly hell-bent on killing them all. There are tons of fascinating twists and turns in this horror mystery 
Christmas tree. It's a perfect game to play around Halloween either by yourself or streaming for friends. Number 4. The Outlast Trials The Outlast Trials balances pure horror and hilarity like no other multiplayer horror game, making it a special entry on our best horror game list. Originally a single player franchise, this next installment in the series managed to duplicate the atmospheric horror found in the first few games and modernize it in a way that can ruin new audiences. There's a multiplayer trial to put yourself through, either with friends or on your lonesome, each providing different ways to scare and horrify yourself if you're looking as good as old fashioned jump scares and anxious hiding, look no further, the Atlas trial has it all. Number 3. Amnesia the Bunker Amnesia the Bunker lives up to the petrifying history that this series has. With its claustrophobic, psychological and bloody scares, this horror game is not to be taken lightly. Trapped in the bunker with only one exit available, you must navigate the dwelling light, the precarious tunnels to complete, the puzzles and secure the dynamite unique to explode your way out to freedom. Unfortunately, like the first title Amnesia the Dark Descent, the bunker has an unwelcome quest, the beast. This creature will hunt you through the dark bunker, waiting for its moment to strike and drag you into the dark hollows below. Number 2. Visage Visage made its way onto our best horror games like thanks to its eerily creepy psychological horror bases and its uncannily realistic environments. However, it may possibly trigger seizures for those with photosensitive epilepsy. This first-person survival horror game is set inside a huge and terrifying house. Here you have to explore endless mazes which fill your head with the memories of all the dead families who used to occupy this place. If you are in the mood to be truly horrified this Halloween, then we say it is the game for you. Just be warned, maybe play with the lights on. <laughs> And number one, Alien Isolation. After countless games to use this precious creative license over the years, developer Creative Assembly in the, in the first actually to create a game that lives up to it. The game takes place 15 years following the event of the 1979 Ridley Scott film, putting players into the space boots of Ellen Ripley's daughter, Amanda Ripley. Taking on first person perspective and squaring you off with single xenomorph hunting you across a vast space station in darkness. Alien Isolation nails what it felt like watching the film for the first time. The vibe makes it so deserving of title of one of the best horror games, and Isolation feels if you are playing through the movie. Throw in the excruciatingly clever artificial intelligence afforded to the alien, along with an absolutely gripping virtual reality experience, and you have the trappings of the modern horror classic. Okay, this is it for this episode. Thank you everyone, my name is Ebolon. If you like this content, I really appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up and leave your idea in the comment, and if we miss the title write it down in the comments we will appreciate reading that my name is Ablon thank you for watching this episode until the next one peace